Hey class, if you are wondering how exactly you do homework in my math lab, this video will help you understand. So I'm going to show you this for all of my classes. All of them work the same way. Uh, if this isn't actually your shell, it's okay. All of them work the same. So you can still follow along. So once you're inside the shell, there is a tab on the left side navigation that's called homework. You click that and all of your homework will be listed. You can click on any of them. You see their due dates uh, on the left side. You see your scores, how many attempts you've made, if you have a time limit. For my classes, there aren't any time limits. You just have a due date. And once the due date's done, then you can't work on it anymore unless you ask me to have it reopened. But if you want to work on an assignment, say let's work on 2.2 homework. You click 2.2, all of the homework questions come up. You can answer them in any order you like and go back to them whenever you want. You don't have to do it all at the same time. As soon as, if you finish a problem, it's already saved to my math lab gradebook and you can exit and come back. If you finish a problem midway, then you'll have to restart that problem uh, if it's not saved. So let's just try a random question. If we try question 8, the homework screen comes up, and this is what it gives us. So it asks us a question. The problem statement is right here. It gives us a question. asks us to choose. Here we have multiple choice. Um, let's just say we're going to pick this one and we think the answer is 4. Notice you can do fractions, different ways, exponents, absolute values, a bunch of different things here. Uh, the tool palette has a lot of different symbols. If you need something mathy and you can't, as much as a number, you can't find it, check down here in the tool palette. So once you put something in, then you can go on, you hit check answer. That's not correct. My math lab gives you three chances before it moves on to the next step in a multi-step problem, or three chances before it repeats, refreshes, and gives you another similar problem to try again. So for my classes, you have unlimited attempts. You just have to finish the whole problem. If you don't like your score, you can go back and redo the problem again. So we've used one attempt say we think it's 5. That's not right either. Gives you a little hint there. Let's try one more time. Say we think it's 9. I don't really know what the answer is because I'm not actually doing the problem. The correct answer is 9 over 2 and we plugged in 9. So this was not a multi-step problem. It only had one one step. So it gives us the chance to go on by next question or we can click similar question and this will regenerate with a very similar but different problem for us to try again. So notice this is 9h plus 1 minus 1 over h. Let's see what the similar question is. It's 2h plus 1 minus 1 over h. So the only thing that changed was this little 2 by my cursor. It used to be a 9, now it's a 2. So you can see it's very similar. And you can keep going. If you have questions, the help menu right here is a great resource. You can look at the textbook. Looks like I blob pop-ups. You should always allow pop-ups from my math lab. Now let's try it again. So here's the text in section 2.2. You can read through it. It has some interactive options there. If that's helpful, that's fantastic. It's, uh, it's an option for you. You can also click the Ask Your Instructor link. This is good because it sends me the section, the question number, and it sends me any work you've done on this problem. It, it also gives you a spot that can, where you can say things like, I 
I don't understand, and then tell me whatever it is. When you write something here, though, please be descriptive. Don't just say, I need help, because I don't know what you need. Don't just say, I don't get this. Say, on this part, I don't understand why you need to do this, or I don't understand how to do this specific thing. And then I can create a movie for you and video for you and send it back. So that's a, an option for you. The two options that I think are used the most are the help me solve this and the view an example. Help me solve this takes the exact problem that you have. Notice this is the limit as h approaches 0 of 2h plus 1 minus 1 over h. Exactly the same thing. And it has you, it gives you little steps and then asks you to f to do something, ask you a question. So it kind of leads you along as you're going, but it requires some input from you. And uh, then when you close it, it changes the problem you work on to be something slightly different. So you can do that different one for credit. So again, the help me solve this helps you solve the exact problem you're working on and then allows you to do a slightly different one for credit. This used to be 2H and now it's 18H, so it's a little bit different. The most useful, I think, and the most used is the view and example. Notice here, it doesn't give me the exact same problem. In my problem, it's 18H, and in this problem, it's 14H. So it's slightly different, but the good thing about this is that there's no input needed from you. You just keep hitting continue as you follow down, and it has a complete answer key, a completely solved solution process for you to follow. And the one that you do is very similar to the one that they've given you here. So you can just follow this, and once you understand this, you can go back to your own, follow the same steps, and you should get your answer. Once you hit close, Yours again stays the same, so yours never changes. They just give you a different one with a solution as a guide. So the Help Me Solve This solves the original problem and gives you a different one for credit. The View and Example keeps your original and shows you a complete solution for a similar one. That's kind of a fantastic feature of my math lab because for every problem that you do, you have an a view an example. So you have, it's kind of like a guide for almost every problem that you'll do in the homework. So that's a fantastic resource for you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text, email me, stop by my office. I'm happy to help you any way I can. Thanks.